the Lord prepare the way. Way of the Lord prepare the way. Prepare the way. Prepare the way. You know, this morning when I came for prayer, this morning. I saw an angel standing there. And he was an angel that was carrying the winds of change. I was wondering why am I seeing this angel and he was playing a flute and we even got a, a, a sound from the angel. And I believe. And you know what winds of change means, right? When wind comes, everything changes. Our atmosphere changes, our circumstances changes. The government, everything, you name it. So I believe the Lord has released this angel for a mighty change in our land, in our city, in our nation, in our lives, in our personal lives, in our children, in our jobs. So Lord, we pray, let these winds of change come upon our people, Lord. Come upon this land and blow upon this land, Lord. Something about the visitation of Moses, it was out of the ordinary, it was out of the norm. He was not in his secret place seeking the Lord. When God visited him, it was in an out of normal place. So sometimes we have an expectation of how God has to visit us. We are like, okay God, I'm in this secret place, now is the time that God will visit me. But God has a way of, of really just changing our mindset. And God wants to visit you. He can even visit you at a mall. He can visit you in your, in your shower. He can visit you in the most craziest place that you don't expect. But when God visits you, then you know that your life will be transformed. And visitation comes in different forms. For Abraham, God visited him by giving him a child. That was his visitation. In Moses' case, before his assignment, God visited him through the burning bush. So, so I want you to prepare your hearts. I want you to prepare your hearts for a visitation from God. God. That when God visits us, he will visit us out of the, not from our comfort zone, but maybe it's in a very different situation that, than we expect. Amen. So I want you to pray this prayer after me. Spirit of the living God, of the living God open, my open my eyes so that I may see, so that I, may see. So that I may hear, so I may hear. When, you when you want to visit me that I will be sensitive to you, Lord. Be it in my workplace, be it at a mall, 
be it at my school or be it in my kitchen or be it when I'm changing my children's diapers I don't want to miss a visitation from you Lord. as a church we don't want to miss a visitation from you Lord And Lord, we thank you for releasing this angel that you have released this morning. Oh, I hear a whistle. Raya ra la ra Yes, the Lord is visiting his people this morning. The Lord is visiting his people this morning. Lord, make us the burning bush, Lord. Oh. It doesn't matter who you are. You don't have to be a preacher. You don't have to be super anointed or popular. Just be available. He doesn't care about your background. He doesn't care about where you come from. He just wants you. He just wants you to be available. Come with expectation every morning. Let that expectation be there. Let that hunger be there. Because it is only when you're hungry, you can move the heart of God. A few years ago, I had this powerful dream that I can never, ever forget. And in the dream, I was, I was in the Middle East, in my home. That's where I'm from, from Kuwait. And I remember there was a, there was a, it was a stadium. There was a lot of people. And I remember this man asking my husband a question. He's like, something about revival. When is revival happening? Or why is revival happening? And I was with my husband at that time. And I remember responding to this man saying, God wants to send a revival, but are you, but are you ready? Are you ready for it? Because that's the heart of God. He wants to send a revival. But many a times we are not ready. Because when revival comes, it messes up everything. It messes up our schedule, our life, our everything. So many a times God has to withhold himself from releasing because of us. It's nothing to do with him. It's because of our lack of desire or our lack of adjustment or our lack of of allowing God to do what he wants to do. So I'm just reminded of that dream once again. If God wants to send revival, are we ready, church? So I was just, that, that desire just kindled in my heart, and I said, God, do it again. And, and that song that was released on the 7th, let it be. Oh, here I cry. Hi.
desire is a place 